everyone salute everybody question of the day is how do i give my job 120 percent all the time welcome to my channel next quarantine survival gear if you have not subscribed already or you're new to my channel and i'm urging you to subscribe right now subscribe right now subscribe below share this video like if you do like it and please check out the rest of my videos thank you so very much so question of the day is how do I give my job 120% or 10% all the time when my job is not treating me right? When my job is not deserving of my 120%? I know it's a long question, but I asked this question. This question was asked after I posted my video when I said there was part one and two. When I said, why should we be humble for having a job right now? How, why should we be humble for, in our professional life? I, what, I told us to be humble and be grateful and pay it forward and give it 110% all the time because it's a lot of people who do not have a job right now. A lot of people wants to be where we are right now and they can't. So I said, because we have a job, we need to pay forward. We need to be grateful. And this person is asking me, my job is not treating me right. My job is not deserving of my 100% and let alone me having to give it 110 and 120%. So I said, I just reminded him, I'm going to remind us that here right now. I said, remember, I said in Deuteronomy, God said he will bless the work of our hands in due time. So if we're doing the right thing, no matter what is happening, no matter what the politics, no matter what is going on, he will bless us one day. No matter how long it takes, we will get our blessings. And I also tell him, I told him that it is important for us to do this because I have me, I'm going to share three with you because by doing the right thing, we get, that's how we get rewarded by, from God by doing the right thing. So I have, I have four things that I practice every day that helps me give it my 120% all the time. And I'm going to share that with you. And I hope that it will help you. So number one is I have to take my emotional, personal emotions out of my work, out of everything that is going on at my job, the policies, the changes, the politics, Whatever is going on at my job, I need to take my emotions, personal emotions out of them. I understand we have to have emotions. As human, we have to act as human. We have to have compassion. We have to love. We have to have love in order to do our job properly, especially if you're a people leader. You have to have all of these feelings in order to do your job correctly. But I'm talking about when we feeling like because somebody got a promotion over me or because the policy changes, because this thing, this thing or that thing happened is because somebody is out to get me personally or because somebody does not like me personally. We need to take those emotions, personal emotions out of the decisions that are being made in our job. We need to stop thinking that they out to get me. They're out. They don't like me. We need to take that out of it. So the first thing is you need to take your personal emotions emotions that are clouding your judgment, clouding your, your feelings out of your professional, your business, your work. You need to take them out of it. If you need to ask the right questions, go to the right people and ask them, why is this decision made? Why was this changes made? That will help you stop thinking that is personal. So take your personal emotions out of your work. That will help you give it 120%, 110% all the time. The number two thing that I practice every day is every morning I ask God to give me spew humbleness, spew humility. That way, because it is in our nature to complain, to be angry, to reject things all the time. So I want God to help me with spew humility, spew humbleness, so that I can be, I can be humble, I can be grateful, I can be thankful for what I have in order for me to give it my hundred and twenty percent, my hundred and ten percent all the time. And number three things that I ask God to give me is your obedience. You may be thinking, these are weird things that she's asking. I am asking this because remember, it's in our nature to complain. It's in our nature to not to follow rules, to be angry. If I don't have, and remember, my name is not at the door. My name is not on the letterhead. The business is not mine. I am there to do a job. So I ask for spirit of obedience so that I can be obedient to all the changes 
all the regulations, my leaders, my peers, my managers, my job, my role. I have to be obedient to everything that is happening in order for me to give it my 120%, my 110% all the time. So I ask God to help me with spirit of obedience every morning. And number four is I need to find the meaning. I have to know that my work is worth it. Because a lot of people are thinking because they're doing, certain people are doing repetitive work every day. So they don't see the, the meaning of it. They don't think that it's worthy. What they're doing is not making sense. What they're doing is not helping anybody. So I want you to find the meaning of your job. You, you have to, some companies are doing good things in the community. They are helping a lot of people in the communities that we don't know about. So find out, do a research about your job and find out the good things they are, they are doing besides from what you see every day. They are making a difference in other people's life. Your role, your position, the role that you have, find out who are you really helping? Who is benefiting from your job, from your role, from your everyday, from your repetitive work? Who is benefiting from that? That will help you give it 120, 110% all the time. So do that research and it will help you. Even if you do the research and you don't see anything, and it's just that the next person who touches your work does not have to correct your mistakes, you are doing, you are, you are, you are doing something. You are helping that person not to go back and make your corrections for you. So find something meaningful about your job so that you can give it 120 and 10% all the time. These are the four things that I practice every single day. And I promise you, if you do, they will help you as well. But another thing that I added to that, I said, remember, focus, read Deuteronomy chapter 28. The main thing I want us to take from that chapter is the key for that chapter is we have to do everything right. We have to do the good thing in order for God to bless the good work of our hands. That means some of us who are working from home, you know, you, you just your one person person. Nobody's watching over you. Nobody's always on your shoulder looking at what you are doing. No matter where you are, no matter what you are doing, you have to give it a hundred and 10 and 20% all the time. You have to do it rightfully. You have to do it right. You have to do it honestly. And when you do that, God is watching. That's how he blesses us more. So no matter what it is you're doing, you are home, you are wherever, you are hiding, whatever it is you're doing, do it right. Do it correctly. Give it your 110% all the time. And in due time, God will bless us. He will open the heavens and bless us no matter how long it takes, no matter how difficult, no matter how impossible you think it looks, he will bless the good work of our hands if we do it right, if we do it truthfully, if we do it rightfully, if we give it our all, he will bless us. So I want you to join me if you are feeling this way before. If you're feeling like this person is feeling, I want you to practice this with me. Change your perspective and practice this and do this every day. These things that I listed, do them every day. Join me. And practicing these every day, and I promise you, your life will change. You will try to give it your 110, your 120% all the time. So will you join me? Will you? Thank you very much for sharing this video. I know you will share this, so I'm thanking you in advance for sharing them. If you have not subscribed, I am thanking you to subscribe right now. Subscribe below and like this video if you, you like it. And please check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much for your subscription. And thank you for sharing. And thank you for liking this video. I appreciate you.